Sula P Podcast coming at you with another video. I recently saw this question posed by an individual. They were very curious to know if if anyone had any hints or tips or advice on the best ways to practice. Are there any good strategies for practicing? You know, the best way to utilize their time. This is something that I know a lot of people have thought about, you know, and um, it's something that I've thought about myself, man. So I would love to hear from you all, you know, what are the best ways to utilize your time in order to become a great dancer, a great social dancer, man. This is, this could be super, super beneficial to a lot of people out there, man. So I would love to hear from you all. Um, I think, you know, just to start this off, and I think what can be super important, man, is, you know, to have a dance partner, someone who you can go to class with and then practice what you just learned after class, man, and throughout the week, man. Super duper important, man, is to be able to practice multiple times throughout the week. I'll say this real quick for myself. I made the mistake a lot of times, for a long time, of going to class once a week. I made that mistake of going to class once a week. And it, and what I mean, why I say it is a mistake is, is that it's, it's not enough. It's, it's not enough to do something once a week. And, and what I mean more to be even more concise, more specific is that it it's enough, but it, it's a very, very slow process. Just think about anything, you know, if you do it once a week, man, it's, yes, you will retain some things, but just think, just think about if you were to do that thing two times a week or three times a week and just think about, I guess, kind of like compound interest, you know, just think about how much more, how much more you would retain, how much more you would be able to execute, how better you would be at the end of the year. If you had two people, one person who practiced said thing once a week, and then you have another person who practiced said thing three times a week. And at the end of a year, you have one person who practiced 52 times, and then another person who practiced 170, I don't know, that's three ball, 52 times three. You know, have this person who practiced it that many times, but you, it's obvious who's going to be better. So, you know, it, if you are able to, you know, practice it more times, a week, go to socials, man, go go to the parties, practice by yourself, practice with your partner. The more you practice, the better you will get, man. Uh, another big thing that is super duper important, man, is to go over the videos of that class, man. Like I said, man, if you just go over it, if you practice it that one time, it's not enough. If you can record the video, go home and practice it so that it becomes muscle memory. When it becomes muscle memory, you know, it's, that's a good thing, man. If you have a partner to practice it with, man, oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm being redundant. But you know, practice, practice, practice. That's, it's obvious, you know, we're talking about practice. We're talking about practice, we're talking about practice. That's how you get good, bro. That's how you get good, man. So if practice is like number one, if practice is one, then number two is, is musicality. Um, when you are able to to execute musicality, be able to to you know properly show your musicality. It is it takes you from a a mediocre dancer to a good dancer, man. Uh, musicality is when you are able to demonstrate what you are hearing in the music through your body, and then you know it's probably a plethora of different definitions of music category, but I think that's a good one. You know, when people are able to see the type of music you're listening through by the way you're dancing, that may be more convoluted, but you know, it's you being able to move with the music and you know, it's, it's something that can be very difficult to teach, something that can be very difficult to learn, 
but I've got plenty of videos on musicality, man. I have a lot of interviews where we talk about musicality. It's one of like the questions I ask all my guests, you know, how does one improve the musicality? You know, what is musicality? Um, Real quick, you know, a great way to say it, man, in order to improve your musicality, you need to listen to music and not just do it passively, but you need to listen to music and do it actively. You need to focus on the beats, the measures. You need to focus on the instruments. You need to focus on what genre you're listening to. It's not putting music on in the background and going about your day. Musicality is putting on music and focusing on it, learning to get familiar with it. Um, you need to listen to music, you need to listen to that genre of music as much as possible. Once you get comfortable with that music, you become so much more of a better dancer because you start to notice the patterns in that genre of music. So listen to music is super duper important, man. Real quick to close this out, man, uh, private classes, super important. Yes, I understand that you know it is, it's a monetary oblig obligation, but when you're able to get one-on-one -on -one training with a reputable instructor is super duper beneficial I say reputable reputable because you know not every teacher is a good teacher so you need to find a teacher who you believe who you know who you have word of mouth who is a good teacher who has a good pedagogy who can teach man find a good teacher get under their wing and learn from them that is super important and it is a quick way to become a better dancer man private classes are super super beneficial man and to follow that up man join a dance team join a performance team join a practice team uh the more times you're able to practice the better you will get i became the best dancer when i was doing when i was on my practice team when i was on my performance team we practiced two to three times a week i was going to socials as well so i was practicing three or four times a week man dancing and you know doing all of that um i don't want to make this video too long these are just some thoughts I have. I would absolutely love to hear from you all. What are your thoughts and opinions on this topic? You know, what advice could you give to someone who wants to improve in, in, in anything in life?